What is up fam, it's your dude fan of here, welcome to another video, another reaction video guys, this one's to uh, the channel called 1111 guys, so hey, we gotta check it out man, they've been dropping bangers recently, we reacted to one of the videos yesterday, Um, this one's called Lil Sky's Biggest Mistake guys, so let's check it out, let's check it out, Lil Sky's Biggest Mistake, what is his biggest mistake guys? This is how one crucial mistake took Lil Skies from one of the most promising young artists to now a rapper that many fans only listen to for nostalgia. After dropping multiple- Dog, I know what happened, bro. What happened, bro? <laughs> he had like a few songs that blew up and then I never heard from it. Like, you know what I mean? I really I really heard, heard of Lil Skies after that. Like, like, where did he go? Where did the bro go? Multiple iconic SoundCloud hits, today you'll often hear people claim that Lil Skies fell off. Hey, uh, I kinda, you know, well, like he just disappeared it seems. He just disappeared. As Whoa! Did he really fell. Casual fan looking at his page, it's easy to think that Skies just stopped dropping music for a while and presumably took a break to spend time with his new kid. A, a four year break it seems. <laughs> However, as we begin to dig- Hey, he pro he's probably, um, he's probably, you know, done, like, Retired after just a few like videos and that's about it into the exact truth behind look you be acting like I'm dead just cuz I ain't drop Face bar period relax. It's a lot behind the scenes going on. You don't speak you don't Y'all don't know I can't speak about it now. Well skies disappearing. Uh -oh, uh oh It's, it's actually much deeper. But we know we, we know he's active on the Instagram so then it all seems It's no secret that interest in Lil's Bro, what happened, man? He's guys has been on a steady decline as of recent. Really, ever since he blew up in 2018, his last album flopped in terms of sales. He's now dropped under five million monthly listeners on Spotify. Oh no! Oh no! Under five million, guys. That's not bad. What? That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all, guys. For the first time in years, he's losing over 20,000 followers per month on Instagram. And honestly. He's losing followers. I feel like a lot of these younger hip hop fans simply aren't familiar with this music or don't even know who Lil Skies is. Hey, all this fucking money to just come here and stand like this. Y'all look weird as Bro, he's flaming. Turn the fuck up. You are not too cool to jump. Turn the fuck up. <laughs> Lil Skies. There's a few reasons I'd say are easily responsible for Sky's decrease in mainstream popularity, all of which we're about to cover in this video. All right, all right, let's uh, let's let's check it out, man. A deep dive into Little Skies, bro. What happened to Little Skies? What happened to Little Skies? Video. However, one big misstep has stood out from the rest. Little Skies has been a family man from the start. Born in the quote small redneck town of Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, it was actually his dad. Yeah, but I had no clue. Dad who inspired him to start music at the age of four. His dad rapped four years old, guys, is when he started. Dang, bro. That's a while he's been doing music for sure. By the name Dark Skies, and the two even released a project together in 2013. Bro. So he's been doing this for ages, guys. Vegas. Along with his dad, Lil Skies' brother is also a rapper too, with currently over, Bro, I didn't even know. over 30,000 monthly listeners as well as multiple face tats, Cameron Hauser has been attempting to follow in his brother's footsteps. Skies not only has verses on two of Cameron's most popular songs, but he that has an awesome house, guys. Anyone agree? I think that's a freaking awesome house. He also often brings him out at shows to perform with them. Then, of course, we know about Sky's close relationship with his mother, naming his debut album Shelby in honor of her and featuring her. That, that, that is pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. On the cover. I decided to name my project after my mom because, oh! you know, I mean, she's solid, she's my inspiration. Oh! I love the tattoo on his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was cool as well. But it is photoshopped. That baby didn't have a tattoo. That baby, that. that baby has no tattoo, guys. Clearly, family is very important to Lil Skies, and as we'll see in a second, he'll do anything for them. Back in July of 2019, just a few months after the release of Shelby, Lil Skies became a father himself. Oh, guys, I wonder what his net worth is. Something he says totally changed the way he views life and music. I take my music some serious, but like that's one thing when I leave here and I'm dead and gone. 
is what I want to be great at is being a dad. One thing about Lil Sky Dang, bro. Is that he's clearly never been a rapper for the cloud or fame. This man basically has zero social media presence online. As an artist today, Dude, one post on Instagram, and but 4.1 million followers, man, that's crazy. That's not a good thing, a and lot. there's very few that can successfully pull it off. But Skies keeps his life. Well, yeah, I can pull it off. You can pull it off when you got, uh, you know, you recent or these these songs that get still get millions of views per month, probably. Pretty private now, and you don't really see him outside. Literally, his last tour was back in 2019 alongside Lil Pump, which Skies is low key a good performer, so I think not touring in years aside from festivals is a mistake in itself. But following the birth of his son, as well as combined with the coronavirus pandemic in 2020, Lil Skies essentially went ghost on social media and didn't drop new music. For Bro, did he really say that? He said he ain't dropping nothing for months. Skies has cited depression and anxiety through numerous social media rants in the past. Bro, I kind of, kind of, I kind of feel the same way about doing social media, man. It scares me. It scares me. As well as saying he has a personal life and family outside of the internet, but as an upcoming rapper trying to establish yourself, though, going ghost is about the worst thing you can do for your career. However, according Tax, bro, I wonder what happened to the other guy in that video, man. He, he was in the interview. I wonder what happened to the other guy. We gotta, we gotta find out about that land. I think it's land and cube or something. We gotta find out what happened to land and cube. Lil Sky's side of the story that we're about to hear, the truth behind his disappearance wasn't actually his fault. Do you know what else isn't Lil Sky's fault? Wait, are you serious? Getting hacked by leakers who steal his music, which can also cause delays in release schedules. But thanks to today's sponsor, Atlas VP no. VPN, you no longer have to worry about internet privacy or- No, it's sponsor! Let's get through this. By the time Lil Skies was a teenager, all he wanted to do was make music. Inspired by legends like Lil Wayne, 50 Cent, and fellow Pennsylvania rapper Wiz Khalifa, Skies began uploading tracks to SoundCloud and YouTube, including his first mixtape, Good Grades, Bad Habits, in 2015. Damn, so he's been active for a while, guys. Been trying for a while. You know, when I started YouTube, I didn't think it would be this hard, but it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard. Then after years of grinding to little success, following the release of singles such as Rude, Off the Goop, and most notably Signs of Jealousy in 2017, it was clear that Lil Skies was about to blow up and every major record label was after him. Lil Skies, what's your SoundCloud? Lil Skies on SoundCloud? Signs of Jealousy, I never even heard that song. Anyone hear that song, guys? Lil Skies, Lil Skies. 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 <laughs> Skies would go on to officially ink his first deal with Atlantic Records in 2017, in partnership with his own label, All We Got Entertainment. Skies' debut commercial single under Atlantic. Wait, the Atlantic Rep Records, guys. The Atlantic Records. Oh, here we go. Here's a debut single, guys. Atlantic was then his breakout hit, Red Roses. Although first posted on SoundCloud four months prior, Red Roses was re-released alongside a music video with Cole Bennett. Still one of the most iconic lyrical lemonade videos. Pretty much, pretty much. That's when I first found out about him, guys. Released, uh, five years ago as well. It's a while, it's a while. He would keep the momentum rolling and release his debut major label mixtape, Life of a Dark Rose, in January of 2018. This now platinum mixtape carried Lil Skies into Platinum? the mainstream and features many of his biggest hits to this day. Filled with smooth auto-tune flows and catchy melodic hooks, Life of a Dark Rose is in my opinion one of the best projects from that SoundCloud era. The following year, 2019, would see Skies release his debut studio album Shelby in February, going on to peak at number 5 on the Billboard charts. That's cool. He dedicated the whole freaking album to his mom. And so an impressive 54k first week. Not bad, not bad. Everything was going great for Lil Skies and honestly but honestly, I haven't heard it. I haven't seen any of his videos pop up on my feed since I like that Cole Bennett uh, video way back then, like five years ago now. Lee, it felt like he couldn't miss. With sold out shows across his first ever headlining tour, Skies continued to turn doubters into believers. However, like we see happen so often in the music industry, everything was about to quickly change for the worse. As a 19 no! year old kid faced with millions of dollars right in front of you, that's very difficult to turn down. So back in 2017 when Lil Skies was offered his first record contract and the opportunity to secure millions for him and his family, signing the contract seemed like an easy decision. But we see so many young artists sign bad record deals. The truth is the music in- Facts bro, facts. He didn't know, he didn't know that something like this could happen, I guess. I, I don't know, guys. History can be an evil business, and a lot happens behind the scenes we don't see or hear about. For sure, for sure. It's like confidentiality. 
uh, stuff that goes on with that. Record labels are also typically some of the most greedy people who will basically do anything to swing a profit. So as an artist, once you sign your name, isn't that like on that dotted line? Depending on the details of the agreement, most times they. Guys, do you think he filmed that where he signed that? <laughs> he probably did, right? Essentially, now own and control you in your career, meaning you can only drop music when they give you the green light. Countless new rappers either don't read the fine print of their contract or don't fully understand the verbiage, but still sign because of the money and later go on to regret it. When I signed, I didn't really know what was in my contract. I was young, I, I think I was like 20. So now they're telling the bitch that the, she can't drop no music. <laughs> It's really just like a greedy game. Dang, bro. Are you serious? It's because the label. While we don't exactly know the full details of Lil Skies' contract, it's clear that according to him, somewhere along the way, he signed a bad deal with Atlantic. Record label contracts are typically one to two years for a young artist like Lil Skies, which means he would have had to re-sign with Atlantic at least once since 2017. Y'all be acting like I'm dead just because I ain't dropped. Skies posted in reference to his label allegedly holding him back. As we gotta, um, we gotta figure out when this was posted. Relax, it's a lot behind the scenes going on y'all don't know and I can't speak about right now. Just know I'm getting through it for y'all, trust my process. When you're a hot artist and all of your releases are hitting like they were back when Skies first signed, labels are going to market you heavy and put big budgets behind you. However, the opposite is also true, that when you're not pulling close to the same numbers as before, record labels are quick to shelve you in your music, as well as barely push the songs they do let you release. Bro, when I got signed, bro, they take over all your shit. They ask you all these questions like, all right, what's your password to this? Uh, do you ever got an account over here? We need the password to this. Oh, Sam, they're taking passwords now? What? In many cases, labels will simply move on to the next popping artist on their roster. And here with a major company like Atlantic. Dang, bro. Sad, bro. They hold some of the biggest artists in the world under contract. I seen that I was tired. Probably most of the biggest artists under under contract as well, guys. I to another artist, said Waka Flocka Flame regarding his time with a major label. They told me, you're hot, we throw the money. But if you don't have a song that's buzzing, they don't care about you. If you're signed to a major label, you're a slave. However, the good news is for Lil Skies though. As of March 2023, Lil Skies is officially an independent artist and is no longer signed to Atlantic Records. I'm finally free, Sh it don't seem real. Yo, let's go, let's go. We might see some new Lil Skies content, guys. Skies has now been removed from Atlantic's website and is in full control of his music output. One thing y'all gotta know is Uzi's on there. They got Uzi. Now your boy is independent, bro. I'm fully independent, just me. You feel me? I ain't get dropped by my label, no crazy shit, nothing like that, bro. No, I'm independent, it's my choice. Hey, even after what I've been through, it's crazy that I still wanna go to the studio and make songs, bro. Like, y'all have no idea, bro. <laughs> you have no idea. But while it's great to see Skies back happy recording songs again, the music he's been releasing these past two years has been met with very mixed reviews from fans. Lil Skies really used to be one of my favorite rappers coming up, and even though I'll still give his new music a listen, it's easy to hear that he shifted away from that original sound that blew him up. Instead of those melodic smooth flows that fans love, the majority of his recent releases have been heavy beats with more freestyling bars. Lil Skies Oh snap! We gotta we gotta give one of his new songs a listen, guys. Can obviously do what he wants, but as a honestly forgot about Lil Skies. I'm not gonna lie, we listener and big fan of his in the past. It's pretty clear when he's freestyling in songs compared to actually writing lyrics. I like wrote a song because I ain't wrote a song in so long. I actually been just going off the top, just coming up. He looks like he lost a lot of sleep because of his kid or something in this. Off my head. Don't get me wrong, it's cool for artists to experiment and try new sounds, but in the case of Skies, a lot of his fans don't exactly like this new direction. This doesn't even sound like Lil Skies. What? One fan tweeted, Back in high school, I thought Lil Skies was going to be huge, and then he did a complete 180 with his music. We want the old Skies back. I hope I grow every album. That's the goal. Like, I don't Dang, that, that reminds me of when I s stopped doing RuneScape videos, and now it's just like reaction videos. I lost most of you. Most of you guys, man, it sucks. But we're also having success in other areas, so that's also a good thing. I want my last album to sound like the one before. You know what I mean? I try to switch it up. Like, I want to have different flows, different sounds, different topics, different everything. 
Lil Skies has definitely released songs such as A Few on Unbothered that fans of his older music would enjoy. But the truth is, I just think people either don't care anymore or they don't even know he dropped a new album. After falling under 5 million monthly listeners on Spotify for the first time in years, that's honestly so he dropped something called Lust that he hasn't talked about. Honestly, still not terrible. Or not, I don't know. No, no, that was on the Red Roses album. Sorry. He has built himself. I mean, he's got this one. He's got this one song that's number two on his list. So that's loyal not, fan base. It's not that bad, right, guys? The years and again has multiple nostalgic tracks. Lil Sky's first release back as an independent artist was his latest single, Bass, back in May. Along with being another song in this new style, he also no longer has the help of a major label to market his releases. Even though it's not like they were really doing much for him there. So why does it say all we got under like the the trademark thing? But yeah, it does look like a better picture right there. The base. I mean, the make a toast. I don't know, guys. What what do you think of these uh like thumbnails? At the end. It was just my situation, everything I was going through. I didn't want to give it to y'all that way and have pe certain um people or companies taking this part and all that. No, I had to get. Yeah, labels be dirty, man. This shit Doing straight. everybody dirty, it seems. You feel me? For my little man, I owe that to my son. Like, is that that I gotta be on top of this business, bro? Now at the age of 24 and without a true hit song in a few years, that's a long time in today's industry, especially considering people's attention spans. Skies claims that he's going to be flooding his fans with new music going forward, which I think is the best thing he can do at the moment, and just hopes. Hey, he might drop. He might drop another good one. Yeah, there's artists that do that, like where they just go ghost or they just don't drop that many bangers and then they come back with a, a huge one and now everybody's listening to them again, right guys? Maybe, maybe collab with Cole Bennett again. That'd be a good idea, right? Cole Bennett's huge. Something sticks. I wouldn't have known about him unless, if he didn't uh, collab with Cole Bennett there, guys, right? I've been ready, bro. I'm so like, y'all don't even know, bro. I can't wait. Like, I'm excited, bro. I ain't been excited in a bot, bro, but I'm excited. Lil Skies is not the first rapper to sign a bad record deal, and I guarantee you he won't be the last. The However, bro. along with a few other mistakes such as not 11 11. Just found out about this YouTuber. Not dropping music for months, going ghost on social media, and then basically abandoning the sound that blew him up, it's easy to see why Skies has slipped in popularity. The good Oh, man. The news is, he's now independent and can release music on his own schedule. And although he has a lot of ground to make up if he wants to re Might be harder without the label. Uzi, Uzi, Uzi didn't leave his label. Uzi didn't leave his label, right guys? Turn to the heights he once was, the even better- The strange disappearance of Ski Mask? I don't think he disappeared. But we can watch that as well. Uh, Ski Mask, I see him all the time on social media. You always be popping on my on my TikTok and stuff. But yeah, very cool video. Check out 1111 in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.